Post Malone took a shower. <gasps> Cardi B has on panties. Solange is nowhere to be found. <gasps> that can only mean one thing. It's Grammy's night. Hi, I'm my bad <laughs> I'm Jav, this is Believer the Diva, and I'm the Diva, your best the Believer. And on today's episode, we will be reviewing, ooh, we will be reviewing the Grammys, the one night where black families around the world come together and say, is Beyonce performing? No? Eh. All right, so how about you get your broke ass up and let's go to this red carpet, bitch. First up is People Magazine's World Sexiest Hamster, John Legend. Uh, bitch, this outfit is more confusing than Midsommar. And I'm sure just like Midsommar, the dick ain't worth it. Look, I get it. I appreciate him for not doing the same tuxedo silhouette as all the mother niggas. You know, I love risk takers. That's why I stopped taking prep. But this just ain't it. I mean, one side is up, one side is down. I can't tell if I'm looking at a suit or Forrest Whitaker's face. Here's Khalid, AKA Clifford, the big red dumbass. I mean, this is just too much fucking red. Shit, even the blouse I like, my nigga, chill. I mean, between the carpet and the suit, I haven't seen this much red since I lost my virginity to Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> He should kill this pussy. <laughs> First off, I can't name one fucking song this nigga sings, but let me tell you something. This is how you motherfucking dress to the Grammys in a tuxedo, bitch. That is how you fucking do it. The measurements are perfect. The warmness of the suit brings out the color in his skin and the hair. The beard, bitch, that is a sexy beard. I mean, I haven't seen a beard that sexy since Camila Cabello, and <laughs> speaking of. Next up is Camila Cabello, and oh, it's so embarrassing. You know, I actually spoke to her, and she told me that this wasn't the dress she was supposed to wear to the Grammys. Uh, the problem is her assistant got the dates mixed up on her calendar, and instead she thought she was going to the funeral for her career thanks to Normani. This outfit tells me that Shawn Mendes hates her because no gay man will let their friend walk out the house in some shit like this. The sparkles are tacky, the hair is flat, the fluff on the side makes her look shorter and heavier than she actually is, and the color just isn't for her. I mean, for God's sakes, this dress is bigger and blacker than the dildo under Shawn Mendes' bed. His jacket look like it got herpes too. Just look at all the clothes he's wearing. I mean, for God, I think he's pregnant. Yep, I think he's pregnant, and I think he's trying to hide the baby he got from Trey Songs. BTS have finally crossed into the American market, and I know this because they're all dressed like high school shooters. And let me just say this, I actually do love K-pop. I just hate the way they train all their members like at a young age because it's like super grueling, but like it shows in their performances. I mean, for God's sakes, Koreans in K-pop look like they're dancing on air, whereas the Koreans here couldn't even keep America's best dance crew on air. Y'all gonna hate me, but I actually fucks with it. Like deadass, you know, the thing is, I, I love goofy niggas that own the fact that they goofy. You know, kinda how like Lady Gaga could get away with this back when she made good music. Ooh, girl. <laughs> Girl, Quest Love looks like he's on a quest to love Krabby Patties. America, y'all gotta stop telling this nigga that he can dress. I am telling you, y'all is killing me with this shit. I swear to God. The first time, it was cute. Every time after that, it has just gotten worse and worse and worse. I mean, it's the cowboy hat. The goddamn glitter, the purse, the boots. I mean, he looks like he is the evolved form of Lil Nas X. I mean, this nigga is putting the old in Old Town Road. Here comes Billy Ray Cyrus and Silly Gay Virus. Girl, I cannot, I swear, I, I want to like him so bad. I want to like him so bad. But he is just so corny to me. He is so corny to me. 
And you know, it's like, girl, are you actually gay? Like, are you actually gay? You know what, he is. He definitely is. You know why? Because he's doing the one thing every gay guy does at a special event when they want to be edgy. Wear a fucking harness. He is wearing the fuck out of that harness. And it is just so, it's so, it is so, t- look at Billy Ray Cyrus. Look at him, he looks like, the only reason I'm here is so I can say I have a black friend. Okay, is it just me, or does he look so much older now? Right? Like, isn't time supposed to move slower in Narnia? <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. No, that is not a tattoo on his hand. That's actually the stamp they put on your hand at the Abbey when you go in so you can get free drinks. I'm a bitch. <laughs> You know what, let me apologize, because this was actually a very hard night for Sean, because she's here. If I saw my boyfriend's pregnant wife at an event, I couldn't do it. But Sean is a lot stronger than me. Um, I love Nick's suit. It's perfectly tailored. It looks expensive. Uh, the color reminds me of my sheets after I fuck a straight guy. But Priyanka, oh yeah, yeah, this is awful. I mean, the color washes her out. The belly button ring is so tacky. And the V cut, the V cut, bitch. That plunge is lower than the budget for a Tyler Perry movie. Every year, there's that one bitch that come on with like 200 Instagram followers who decides to dress in something controversial just for the clout. And this year, it's this bitch. So we're not even gonna give her the motherfucking time. Oh, Trump dick sucking cheap material having Drag Race season 12 looking dry coochie ass bitch. So, <laughs> shall we talk about the performances? No. I've been watching French porn. Let's go. So Alicia Keys hosted the Grammys for a second year in a row because she must be fucking all the right people. I mean, that bitch is horrible. I don't understand it. It is like she walked out the limo, entered the building, and was like, oh shit, I left my personality at home. Lizzo opened the show and opened my mind. You know, she actually fucked it up. You know, usually when it's time for her to hit high notes, she whips that goddamn flu out her fruit of the looms, but tonight she killed it. I loved it. Then she did all this bullshit. I mean, what the fuck? And you know, every white woman above the age of 40 was just like, oh my God, I love her. She's so silly. <laughs> Ariana Grande came on and sang Imagine beautifully. I mean, the runs and the high notes and the swag. Ugh, I almost didn't mind she was in blackface. Then she went into Seven Rings and I was so happy that she did this. You know, cause the performance came with a bed so that I could sleep during the rest of her act. I'm watching her like, sis, if you're gonna be black, you better learn how to fucking dance. I mean, who the fuck you think you is, boo? Rihanna? Camila Cabello performed in the outfit Ariana Grande thought was too ugly to wear. She sang a song about her dad to her dad. And I was just like, wow. <laughs> This bitch would really do anything to sell this raggedy ass album. When they asked her dad about Shawn Mendes, he was like, that fag? <laughs> Joe Jonas, Nick Jonas, and the Ugly One performed a song called Five Minutes, which I assume is about how long their fame is gonna last after this shit goes off the air. Also, real talk, I don't understand the whole Nick Jonas appeal. Cause I'm telling you, gays will stand any light skinned nigga with medium thighs, I swear to God. This performance was so bad, it had to be transphobic, bitch. I don't even understand it. I mean, you do not ask the number one group in Korea to fly all the way in America to perform in this dumbassery. And then he went and performed uh, with that one white boy who did that one white thing years ago and then performed this song that kept not one nigga name. And it was just, it was just so gimmicky. I mean, the only bitch I liked it was his mama. Not her, her. Billie Eilish and her brother who still owes her rent performed. And you know, I was impressed. 
uh, let me see. She won, uh, this is insane, album of the year, record of the year, song of the year, and best new artist. The girl is 18. She's gorgeous. It's like, what the fuck do you do after that? What the fuck do you do? You don't hit everything you wanted. And she's the first woman to do that. It's like, uh, don't you just hate bitches like that? <sighs> that girl gets it all. I swear to God. And then she's 18. She's fucking 18. I'm telling you, I haven't seen an 18-year-old that talented since I watched Twink Vacations, Palm Springs. Demi Laval performed best performance of the night, hands down. It was simple, vocally unmatched, elegant, a comeback, a beautiful story, relatable. I've said it before, I'll say it again. She deserves the career that Ariana Grande, Molly Cyrus, and Selena Gomez have. Beyond. She does. I mean, I know she's popular now. She deserves a lot more. So, no jokes. That's it. All right. So, I'm sure this is going to be a long fucking video. I have to edit it and get it out by tomorrow. Um, Sean is coming over in five minutes, so you know I have to douche. And, uh, yeah. Love, peace, and chicken grease. I'm so mean to that boy. Why am I so mean? Am I jealous? I'm just the bottom. Anyway, bye!